What's going on, everybody? I'm Primal Liquid, and welcome back to my Final Fantasy II Pixel Remaster Platinum playthrough. Guys, we are on part number two right now, and well, we might actually be dying right now. Okay, no, we, we might be, we might be okay. Goddamn ambushes, dude. Goddamn ambushes. Anyway, so. One of the things that I do very quickly need to say, okay? Obviously, I am doing the Final Fantasy Marathon as well at the minute, where we're doing streams five days a week, going through all of the Final Fantasy games. Now, because of that, I actually forgot to make a new PSN account for the Marathon. And so, the first couple of trophies that we would normally get in this Pixel Remaster playthrough here will unfortunately not pop because i already have them luckily enough okay it's only the first couple but what i will be doing as well is i will be telling you guys what the trophy is and exactly when it should unlock so even though we won't see it pop up on screen don't worry i will still tell you everything about that trophy okay now also also aside from that we're basically going to be doing a little bit of a little bit of leveling just to you know sort of get some magic levels get some mp get some stats and stuff like that and the reason for that okay the reason for that is oh i'm poisoned um if you actually spend oh i can't cleanse it whoopsie if you actually spend a little bit of a little bit of time early on to you know grind some stats out so like mp and and stuff like that it will actually be better for you in the long run now what i mean by that is it will actually be quicker okay it will actually be quicker god damn it man it ran away evil but yeah it will be faster to actually do a little bit of leveling early on so you can literally just speed through everything now obviously we do need to we do need to complete the best story and and stuff like that we will be doing that as we go because there are missable monsters in ff2 there are some missable monsters once the cyclone appears and changes all the monsters on the overworld that is when you do lose access to some monsters so one of the things we are going to be doing is while we're going through we are going to be making sure we get all of the um all of the best re entries that way you know just in case anything happens later we still have them so very 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 important right then let's just turn auto battle memory on we definitely want to leave that on for now but yeah so there are there are going to be some uh, some missables one thing to note as well however is this run right here okay this run is completely different to the ff marathon okay so don't please don't worry thinking you know i'm i'm doing it sort of half and half no it is it is a completely completely separate thing so because of that you know like you you don't have to watch the marathon if you want the platinum trophy or anything like that um the marathon is is just a you know a more casual fun filled playthrough where we just sort of relax and we have some fun you know it's it's a way for you guys and me to interact with each other in in real time and then obviously you know there's there's some typical ff memes which uh, which don't really happen obviously i play very cocky both on both on youtube videos and also via um stream i don't know why i couldn't think of that word then but yeah i i am obviously a very cocky gamer when it comes to to ff so because of that there will most definitely most definitely be some memes eventually of where i just do something really dumb and you won't get to laugh at me basically <laughs> well i mean i know i know streams aren't for they aren't for everybody but hey maybe maybe pop in and give them a try especially if you haven't watched since like the ff8 randomizer you know things are way way different to to how they used to be so i would i would strongly strongly suggest uh, checking it out for sure you never know you might have some fun you might have lots and lots and lots of fun <laughs> oh man right so one of the things uh to mention as well is yes i have turned the uh, the boosts on the boosts are on just so we can speed this up okay it's not gonna it's not gonna take forever or anything like that we're not gonna get like uh, you know super overpowered or stuff like that we're basically just doing enough to the point of where we can fly through the 
early part of the game, if that makes sense. It's like, that's, that's all we want to do. We just want to fly through the early stuff. So what I'm probably going to do is we're going to get uh, probably level five on all four of the original spells. So Cure, Fire, Blizzard, and Thunder. We're going to get level five on, on all of them for each of the characters. Simply due to the fact that it gives me a nice, well-rounded approach. And then we're going to have a, a character focus on a specific element. But then we're also going to go by Teleport for Therion, who is then going to start focusing on, on Teleport, basically. Just because, yes, Teleport has been seemingly nerfed a little bit, it is still a very, very strong spell. So we will most definitely be using that a lot as well. I mean, ideally, we'll get a, a Teleport home here from, uh, from the mobs and that. If not, it's not the end of the world. We can actually just turn encounters off and go and buy one. Or, you know, we could we could just get Minwu first. Doesn't make that much of a difference, to be honest. Like it really, it really doesn't make that much of a difference. But I will, however, I will, however, actually be killing the captains in Finn as well. Just so I can get some uh, some flame bows and some golden armors. I don't want a lot of them, you know. I think maybe um one flame bow per character and maybe like one or two gold armors we are gonna obviously get some toad spells but the toad spells don't really matter all that much because if you don't know the matching mini game from the uh, the psp is not in this version so we can't we can't get stupid op with like a bunch of genji gear and uh, and masamunes or anything like that we we can't do any of that so i wouldn't i wouldn't worry we're not gonna get really really broken you know, we're just gonna. Oh, that's cure level five already. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna get a toad spell just because. Then we have teleport and toad, which should should pretty much cover every enemy in terms of you know nice easy wins. But obviously, we need we need the MP first to do that, which is exactly what we're doing right now. Now, to be specific, I could farm MP incredibly incredibly easily outside Altair. All I would have to do is set everybody to spam cure. I would I would just have to set everybody to spam cure. And then I would just have to go to the inn and heal. Because at the end of every fight, as long as I use all of my MP, at the end of every fight, I would gain a massive amount. You know? So we could we could cap MP out very, very easily that way. But I do want to gain a little bit of health as well. Just to sort of, you know, clear clear the air a little, basically. It's like we want it. We want to get enough to where we can survive some of the uh, not quite optional things, since we do need to do them for the trophy. But it's more we can sort of do some extra things earlier, if that makes sense. So we could we could definitely do some of the uh, some of the more annoying things a little bit earlier than we normally would, and that's one of the that's one of the goals. That is one of the goals for sure. The only thing is. Do I go for really high magic? Because, I mean, I could I could get my magic up to level 16. And then I could just run through, like, using Eater's AoE. But then again, that would require a lot of MP, actually. Oh, okay. All my magic actually just hit level 5. Sweet. Okay. So, we can actually stop that now. So, we're going to come away from the strong enemies a little bit. We're just going to we're just gonna move down a little bit. Oh, we're still there. No, I don't want that thunder to go off. God damn it. Well, it's fine. They're all level 5 anyway. And at least the blizzard didn't go off for... Oh. Well, I was hoping blizzard did go off then, but it is what he says. Right, so we're going to move away from the stronger enemies a little bit right now. And the reason for that is I want to just swap over to my, my lower level magic. So, obviously, right now, fire is level 5 for Therion. So, we're going to swap over from that, and we're going to use thunder. We have fire, which is only level 4. Hmm... Yeah, that's fine. We might as well max out her, her fire, hadn't we? And then we can use uh, Thunder there as well. And then once uh, once Maria's fire hits level 5, we can then uh, just swap over and get her to use Blizzard. So we don't really need to we don't really need to worry about weaknesses or anything like that here. There's there's not much point in in worrying about that sort of stuff whatsoever. Simply due to the fact we're gonna kill things anyway, you know. We are we are gonna kill things just fine. So that's that's not really any form of issue, you know. And in fact, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna heal right now, and then we might as well just go unlock Minwoo, really, hadn't we? 
might, might as well. It gives me an extra character then, and then, you know, you can, you can heal us and all that sort of stuff. You know, just speed things up a little, you know what I mean? All right, so let's just heal up and then we'll go. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try and kill the captains. Hmm. Like, my health is a little bit low for it. Uh, but with three characters with level 5 spells, we might just be able to do it. Maybe. I don't know. First things first, so let's just go back to normal attacks until we get there. Level up some weapons and all that, you know. One of the things I might do, though, is just give everybody a shield. Because then we can start working on our evasion as well, which would come in really, really handy, actually. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, buckler... Buckler, buckler. Okay, sweet. Right, what weapons are they on? So, level 3. Uh, axes, level 3. Axes, level 3. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so we'll we'll do that. I mean, obviously, Maria and Guy are already kind of getting there, to be honest, with, with their evasion. We can't push them up too quickly, though. That That is something to keep in mind. We cannot push their evasion up too quickly. If we do... If we do, they're going to find it really, really difficult to actually gain health. Because obviously, in, in FF2, the way you gain stats is by, you know, doing doing that thing. So, if you want to gain health, you have to take damage. If you want to gain strength, you have to deal damage with, with your weapons, and so on and so forth. So, with that, we can't push our evasion too high. Otherwise, then we lose out on all the, all the physical damage that we would be taking. And if we lose out on all the physical damage we would be taking, then we can only lose health via magic. And with that, that would basically... Whoops, let's go out and save. Uh, that would basically limit us to only being able to gain a little bit of health every now and again. You know? So we definitely we definitely don't want that to happen. Highly, highly important. Right, first things first. Let me just see if we can actually kill one of the guards. It's going to be It's going to be a little close, but we'll see. All right, so Fire 5, uh, Thunder 5, and Blizzard 5. I don't know if this is going to work or not. It's going to be very, very close. It might do. It might do. We are going to be very low health, though. Okay, come on. One more hit. One more hit. One more hit. Okay, they should kill him. They should kill him. Yes. Okay, so if you don't know, they have about 750 health, these guys do. And they are pretty nasty. But they have good drops. They have really, really good drops, to be honest. Now, let's just heal everybody up. And let's try this again. Yes, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna save again or anything like that just because we didn't get a good drop. We did get a little MP increase on uh, on Maria, but yeah. Who who cares about that man? As long as as long as no one dies, it's fine. You know what I mean? As long as no one dies. Alright, 1,800 gil that time. Maria's Thunder leveled up. Nice, that's more damage for me. A little bit of health. Okay, so that's that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and heal again. Just got to be careful of my MP here. In fact, I will save now, actually, because I did gain a, um, a Thunder level there. So that is going to raise my damage quite nicely. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? See, as soon as Fire and Blizzard level up as well, that's going to make this go way faster. Ooh, Maria got hit. I really need a gold armor for Maria. I really, really need a golden armor for Maria, man. She needs it badly. Right, there's Fire 6 and Blizzard 6 as well. Oh, still only Gil, man. What is going on? I have no luck right now with drops, dude. I'm having no luck at all with drops. Now, let's try another one. I'm surprised. Like, normally I get really good drops, to be honest. Well, on FF2, anyway. Like, normally... I really don't have to worry too much about the drop rates. Oh my god, he nearly died. Oh my god. That was so close, dude. That was so, so freaking close. And still no drop, man. What? What is this, dude? Right. Uh, no, we'll use, we'll use Guy to cure now. Okay, so, yeah, my MP is getting a little bit low. I might need to go and, uh, and heal soon. At the very least, though, I am getting a nice amount of gill right now, which is going to be very, very helpful for sure. We still want the golden armor, though. That's, that's the thing I want. I want golden armor.
At least we are getting a nice amount of HP here as well. So that is that is very beneficial for sure. Uh, yeah, I should probably heal Therion just once. Yeah, we'll fully heal him. Just want to make sure everybody stays alive, you know what I mean? Yeah, we definitely want the uh, the flame bow. We want at least one toad spell. But the big one is we want golden armor because that's just going to make later way easier. Plus, if we get a golden armor, that would give me enough defense that I could actually power level my weapons on my own characters. But we need a golden armor for that. And right now, we just don't seem to be getting them. Although I did just get another thunder level for Maria. So that's really, really good. That's really, really good. All right, we'll do one more fight. Then we have to, then we have to go. Dude, Thunder 7. Let's go, man. Yeah, the captains... The captains are really good for spell leveling, for sure. Like, they're amazingly good. Alright, anything? 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 Please? Okay, we got the flamebow. We got a flamebow. Sweet. It's not exactly what I wanted. You know, it's not exactly what I wanted. But it's not bad. It's not bad at all. We only have one, though, which kind of sucks, to be honest. It's like we want we want a little bit more, for sure. We want a little bit more. Like, ideally, I would get three. Because what I want to do is just sort of level them all equally, you know? The idea, the idea for the end of this playthrough is for everything to be level 16. We don't need to do that. That's just something I want to do. I mean, if we don't get it, we don't get it. It's one of them at the end of the day. But you never know, right? You never know. Uh, oh, nice. Another MP boost with Maria. That's great. Uh, how much MP am I on? Uh, yeah, we can do we can do one more. We can do one more fight, and then we do have to go and heal. I think once I, uh, once I go and heal, I'm going to buy some tents as well, so we don't have to run all the way back for healing. Uh... Actually, you know what? We can still do another one. Yeah, we can still do another one. I have the, uh, I have the MP resources that will let me do another one. But then after that, we might have to stop. Yeah, because Guy is going to be really low on MP now. Mm, yeah, we can't we can't do another one. Guy is going to be forced into attacking soon. Well, it's fine. Right, so let's just turn encounters off while we run back to town. I know that is technically a town. Whoops. I know that is technically a town. We cannot use any of the facilities there at the minute. So no way, no store. Uh, no weapons or, or anything like that. We cannot use those stores just yet. It's like we won't be able to use them for for quite a, quite a while at the minute, to be honest. But it's fine. We don't need to because we can just come down to, to Gatria. Obviously, if I wanted to, I could go get uh, Minwu as well. And then I obviously get the canoe. And then I could just sort of sail down. But, yeah. You know, it, it's one of them. It's one of them. If you want to be super efficient, then yes, do that. But I'm just going to spend my gill now to buy healing items anyway. So that, you know, I can just sort of heal outside. Right, what do we need? Uh, we'll get some high potions. Not a huge amount, just a few. Same with potions, just a few. Just to sort of tide us over in, in an emergency. Uh, we will get a few Phoenix Downs just to revive in an emergency. And then we are going to get cottages as well. We're going to spend all our remaining gill on cottages. So now we have eight full heals that we can use when we need to. We have eight full heals for MP and health. And we have four Phoenix Downs for, you know, when we uh, when we need to actually revive someone if something bad happens. So that's going to be that's going to be more than enough. That is that's going to that's going to allow us to finish our grind here off. And then once we get some. Uh, some flame bows and golden armors and that then then we can move on basically all right come here you all right okay so also this should actually give us a lot of levels wow guy is really low on mp for some reason why is he not gaining mp hmm hmm it's weird oh well yeah at least with this as well we are gonna we are gonna gain some some good levels well, some good magic levels. Okay, we got another flame bow. Mm, I don't really care about the flame bow. It's like I want golden armor and I want the toad spell. The flame bow is nice, but I can't actually make do with just one of them. If I get a third, yeah, sure, that's that's great because then I can just have them all level bow at the same time and that. But I don't particularly care about that. What I really, really want is the golden armor, especially then. Like I can I can give the golden armor to Maria. 
Because she's got the lowest health, the golden armor would allow her to survive so easily. But we're really just not getting very lucky at all with the drop rates. At least now, though, I can pretty much kill him before he gets a turn in. Most of the time, anyway. And once I get a few more levels... Yeah, we're gonna be... We're gonna be away. Oh, speak of the devil. I have Thunder 8 now. Still no drops. Man, I'm so cursed right now. Like, I am so, so freaking cursed right now. Holy damn. That's kind of surprising, that is. I really would have thought I'd have had a golden armor by now. Or at the very least a spell, because he's not even he's not even giving me a spell yet, has he? That's kinda that's kinda shocking, man. That's really kinda shocking, to be honest. I really would have thought I'd have had one by now. No, still nothing. What is going on, man? I am actually really surprised. You know what? I'm gonna do this kill and then like one more kill. If I don't get anything, we're gonna we're gonna save and we're gonna reload. Well, we're gonna close the game and reload to just reset the RNG. Also, one thing you can do if you really wanted to is you could actually power level your cure spell right now. Uh, get that to like level 16 if you want to uh, for the trophy for getting a level 16 spell. I don't recommend it though. I really don't recommend that, simply due to the fact then your cure is going to cost a lot of MP. And you do not want that to happen, okay? You do not want that to happen. It's like, it's better to save that until the end of the game. We do also need to get a weapon up to level 16 as well, though. So that one, uh, well, oh nice, we finally got a toad. Um, for that one... I would actually strongly suggest shields. The reason I would suggest shields is you can get into a fight against like goblins or something like that and have your characters just keep attacking themselves over and over and over again. Because then you can power level your shield all the way up to 16 right at the start of the game. That in and of itself will actually make you pretty much invincible as well. And it takes... I mean, if you use the times full weapon boost, you could you could equip two shields on each character and dude, you could, you could power level that in... Probably like 20, 30 minutes. You know, you could you could power level that really, really fast for sure. Kind of crazy just how quickly you could actually level shield up. Alright, Blizzard should level up here now as well. Yeah, there we go. Man, still no drops. What is going on? Like, don't get me wrong. I, I like the gill. I like a gill, but we don't want the gill right now. We want the armor. Right, let's see what we get here. I think we're gonna reset the RNG. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna reset the RNG. I think because this is this is becoming madness now. This is. Uh, I'll use a cottage first, though. Actually, uh, yeah, we'll use a cottage just to fully heal, restore the MP and that, and the HP. And then we're gonna we're gonna save and completely close the game because the RNG we have right now is is terrible, man. It is terrible. Right, so obviously I just saved. Whatever you do, don't load your save, okay? That won't reset the RNG because the game is still open. If you want to properly, properly reset your RNG, you need to fully close the game and reopen it, okay? That is that is the only way to fully reset your RNG seed. So again, because we got really, really terrible drops there, we're just gonna we're just gonna try a new seed. Hopefully, one that's less uh, less balked if you will. Much less balked. Alright, let's try this. Let's try this again, shall we? Let's try this again. See how we get on here. Yeah, ambush. Well, we know that's a different RNG seed then, don't we? Like, after all those fights, just I didn't even get a single ambush, whereas now I am. Alright, there's another blizzard. Okay, so auto battle back on, and let's see how this goes. Hopefully now we should start getting some good drops. At the very least, as well, we know we basically one-shot the uh, the captain. Yeah, there we go. So we got a toad tone that time. Don't really care about toad. We already we already had one of them, so that's not you know super amazing or or anything like that. What we really really want is the golden armor. Because once I get golden armor, I can go down Mercedia and I could technically grind the flans if I really wanted to. Which would actually be amazing for Gil, thinking about it. And just, like, other magic levels in general, to be fair. No, Gil that time. Mm, we're really unlucky, man. We're really unlucky right now. I think we'll probably just sort of go until we run out of MP, and then we'll go do Scott's Ring, maybe. 
Okay, we finally got a golden armor. Sweet. Man, that took forever. Right, so yeah, as you can see, it's a massive increase in, in defense, but it's also resistant to poison. Okay, that's one of the reasons we wanted it. Aside from the fact that it is a big increase to defense, it pretty much makes us immune to poison, one of the most annoying status effects in this game. That's why we want three of them. We want one for Therion, one for Maria, and one for Guy. Because that will just be so, so helpful, that will. The only problem is actually getting them to freaking drop. It's like they, they just don't want to drop, man. They just don't want to drop, like, at all. It sucks, dude. My RNG is so bad, man. It's so bad. And my RNG on MP growth for Guy seems to be really bad as well, actually. Like, that, that seems really, really low. Like, normally that would be way higher by now, so I don't know what's going on there. Oh, more gill, man, more gill. I don't want gill, though. I don't want gill anymore. I just want armors. I just want armors. Like, if I want gill, I could sell the toad tomes and that, really. Yeah, still no. Wow, really? Dude, this is, this is cursed. This is like a super cursed farm, actually. And for some reason, I'm surprised Fyrion actually has more health than, um, than Guy, because normally Guy has the best growth. Okay, we got another flame bow. So that's the third flame bow, so we really don't actually need any more of them. We've got enough flame bows. Any extras we get, we can just sell, you know? We can just sell them all at this point. What we really, really want, though, is the armors. Nice, we got another one. Okay, sweet. So... We'll throw that on Guy since he has the uh, the lowest amount of health after Maria. And then the next one can go on Therian. So we are, we are getting there. We are getting there. We just need one more. We just need one more. Hopefully we'll get it. Hopefully we'll get it. If we don't, we don't. But, you know, it's, it's one of them. Also, yeah, if you wanted to, like, power level all your weapons and stuff like that. Oh, nice. We got it. Sweet. Two in a row. Let's go. Yeah, if you wanted to, like, power level your, your weapons and that. The captains are a really good way of doing it once you actually get your health up there. So, let's see. Uh, actually, you know what? We're going to do sword for uh, Ophirion. We'll do... Actually, we'll do sword for them all. Yeah, we'll do sword for them all. The reason I'm doing sword for them all is because of the Masamune. We can only get one later, but might as well get it, right? Okay, so let's go and heal. Oh, sorry, let's go and save now that we've got our golden armors. So that basically that basically makes us set now. Oops, where the freak am I going? But yeah, that basically sets us up now for, for a good while, thankfully. So now all we have to do is uh, go and speak to Scott. Just let him die. Oh yeah, make sure you have encounters on in this area, by the way. You can you can actually get um, a new enemy here called the Sprinter. Well, I think its name is the Sprinter anyway. It's like one of those uh, it's like one of those cockatrice birds, basically. It's like you can encounter it here. Obviously, you can encounter it in other areas as well, but it just makes it it just makes it easier to get here. So yeah, make sure you make sure you have encounters on. In fact, you know what? I'm going to stop using magic right now. In fact, no. I tell you what. I'm going to use all my MP on Cure. Because then that should give me a massive MP boost on everybody. Alright, come on. Let's get into another fight, please. No fight, please. Please, no fight. There we go. I do want a sprinter, though. I'm surprised I haven't got one yet. Right, so let's just set Cure up on everybody. Just to waste my MP. And then we'll just turn... Um, auto battle on I mean the all the enemies might run away but yeah who, who cares about that right who cares about that wait how did he get poisoned man he's got the golden armor on well that sucks yeah well doesn't really matter I mean obviously everyone's cure is gonna level up here so it is gonna get more expensive on on the MP that's fine honestly like once we once we start gaining health and shield levels we're probably not really ever going to use Cure. So leveling it up now just makes it easier for getting a, a spell to level 16. Because Cure probably is going to be the one that I do for that trophy. Because there's no point in getting Toad up to level 16. No point at all in that. Because there's no there's no minigame anymore. So we don't we don't need to care about that. But yeah, getting, getting Cure up to level 16 is by far the easy spell. 
Uh, maybe we could get something like teleport up. I, I don't know. But cure just makes it easy, you know, because you can do that whenever. And then after that, it's just going to be the weapons. Shield is definitely the easiest to get up to 16. Um, but it can also mess you up because it can stop you from gaining health. Because if you look right now, like, they, they keep missing, right? They keep missing. Because they keep missing, we're not taking damage. If we're not taking damage, we're not going to get any health. So power leveling shield is... It's a good idea, but it's also a bad idea at the same time, if that makes sense. That's why I might actually... You know, I might actually take the shields off, maybe. Because, I mean, eh, no. We'll, we'll leave the shields on for now, actually. Because there'll be, there'll be other ways that we can power level health if we need to later. In fact, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna equip them all with the flame bow. Level that up, because that's a pretty strong weapon. And then we don't have to worry about leveling shield too high, like whenever we get hit. Alright, so at least we're nearly, we're nearly done on MP now, we're nearly done. Once we're done on MP, like now, um, Guy and Firion are just going to default over to attack. Oh, Guy actually still had another use. Interesting. And now Maria can just sort of waste all of her MP. So all we're going to do now is we're just going to leave auto battle on, basically. Maria can carry on casting Cure in this fight and in the next fight, just to sort of raise her MP up as well. Uh, Firion and Guy, they can they can just attack, they can. Maria's already got a couple of bow levels, so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter too much about her missing a few fights using the flame bow. Yeah, so Guy got level 2 sword, Firion got level 3 shield, and everyone leveled Cure up, of course. So yeah, we can see there we got some nice MP growth. I'm surprised Maria didn't get any though. Like I am I'm really surprised Maria didn't get any there, but Guy got a nice increase across the board. Alright, okay. So let's go ahead and just throw the uh, the flame bow on them. Uh flame bow. Just gotta just gotta double check which hand is best for them. Yeah, so you know what? We'll equip the flame bow to Maria as well. Yeah, so with right-handed and left-handed in this game, some characters are actually better with weapons in their left hand. One of the big ones for that is Leon, if I'm not mistaken. I believe he is left-handed. I could be I could be wrong on that, though. I could very well be wrong on that. But yeah, so when whenever you get, like, a new strong weapon and stuff like that, just make sure you test it in both hands to see which hand gives you the biggest attack increase, Okay. Right, with that, let's uh, go say hello to Scott, shall we? Yes, we're with the Rebels, Mr. Bartender. We're with the Rebels. By the way, has anyone seen uh, the R.A.B. tunes for this scene? It's so freaking funny, man. It is so freaking funny. If you haven't, if you haven't seen R.A.B. tunes for Final Fantasy, you really... You are missing out and you really need to go and watch it, man. It's so freaking good. <laughs> oh dude right well it's nice knowing you scott we'll we won't tell her you love her it's like we'll we'll say i love her yeah that that's what we'll do man that's what we'll do all right okay so we got scott's ring we just need to take that to uh to hilda now and then she sort of just lets us in the army pretty much you know because we infiltrated a place that they fled from yada 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 and normally when we go outside of the pub you would normally just like run right to instantly get out to the overworld i'm not gonna do that because i do want to encounter the sprinter so we're going to go the long way around and sort of go back through the town in the hopes that we we eventually get into a fight with one if we don't we don't it's one of them but i would i would much prefer to hopefully get into a fight with one just to just to knock it off the list basically a uh, little bit of strength okay yeah see i've lost all my evasion now because i've uh, i've took a shield off basically so we've lost tons of evasion there when she oh man where the sprint is that dude and my mp growth is really really bad as well like it is shockingly bad Hmm, no bow levels. 
Yeah, bow is it's gonna level up a little bit slow from now because we are level three and we are still in a low level area. But what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna sort of speed run through a few sections of the game. And with that, we will most definitely, most definitely start getting to the, uh, you know, the slightly stronger enemies where we will start getting some good uh, some good weapon EXP again. Obviously, if you really, really want to, you can power level weapons on your own characters. But to me, I, I don't see the point in that. Not, not right now, anyway. Not right now. What I might do, though, is I might go and see if we can actually beat the captains with my flame bows. I don't think we can, though. I think we're still going to be too low level because we're just not doing much damage at all. We do still have Maria casting Cure, and I do have the Golden Armor for defense, though. Hmm. I don't know. This is going to be this is going to be a little interesting. Let's just see if I can kill a captain with the flame bows. Because if I can, that could be a really good power leveling source for that. But I think, they're, I think they're still a little too low level, so I don't think we're going to have the damage to do it. Or we're going to struggle with the survivability. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to struggle with this. Although then again, if I get some crits, maybe. Plus Maria is healing me. So it's not, it's not too bad. And this will, this will waste all of her MP. I think we might be able to actually kill it. Yeah, we should be able to kill it. We have we have the health, and we are going to gain bow levels, so we will eventually start doing more damage. But without the cure, I don't think we'd be able to do it. So once once Maria is out of MP, we probably aren't going to be able to kill these. That's fine though. Like I, I don't want to farm them. I don't want to grind them or anything like that. This was this was simply a test. This was all this was was a test to see if it would work or not, and it does. So it's great. Eventually it does, anyway. Come on. Come on, Mr. Captain. There we go. He eventually died. Yeah, so I got bows leveled up. Cure leveled up. Uh, Maria got some health. Got some stamina. Ooh, no gill. So I did get a drop here. What did I get as a drop? Uh, golden armor. Again. Okay, that, that's fine. That's fine. Another golden armor. Sure. Why not? I'll take it. Right. Okay. No, I didn't mean to go back in. God damn it, man. I didn't mean to go back in. Right, let's just go ahead and use a uh, a cottage. I could actually just use... Uh, well, I could just wait and use the inn in like Altair or Gatria. But might as well just fully heal now before uh, before I forget. Basically, before I forget. Right, let's go back to Altair. However, I'm afraid to say, everybody, we're going to be doing that in the next one. However, worry not. Because in the next one, we're actually just going to speed through uh, a lot of the story. We've got Golden Armors. We've got the Flame Bow. We've got High Level Magic. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to really start speedrunning a big, big chunk of the story. So, most definitely pay attention if you are after the Platinum Trophy. There's going to be some big, big things coming up that you are not going to want to miss. Still though, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then please be sure to smash that like button. And of course, drop a comment down below as it really, really helps out the channel. And of course, if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more content. As always though, everybody, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.